Hello everybody, this is Rick and Mike, coach at Virginia Big Tennis and welcome to the first round of playoffs for the BBRD League. Uh, this week we are facing Odds and his Charlotte Slitherwins. Um, you can see the matchup on your screen. Um, only thing I can say I guess is that this man's thing is terrifying. Uh, he has he has Chiampao and this Chiampao is a Terra Chiampao which if you saw our game during the regular season versus the thing with Chiampao I think it's just we don't have we don't have many answers to it. As simple as that. He can tear into either dark or electric, which makes it tricky. Uh, realistically, I think he's gonna bring Terra Dark because I don't have any good switches to a Terra Dark Crunch from that thing. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, other than that, he does have excellent pivots in Corviknight, Sylvian, and Slowbro. Uh, he does have a Garchomp, which is annoying uh, overall, and a Slitherwin, uh, which is you know annoying for. Priority and pivoting reasons. Um, hey, my opponent does not have a. Well, that only has one answer, I guess, outside the champ out too. Um, a Dragon Ball being his, his normal type, the Dunsper, so I kinda 100% expected that thing to come. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty rough. It's, it's a pretty rough matchup, in my opinion, but uh, we'll do the best we can and hopefully we can come out with a W. But if we don't, you know, it's been a fun season. I'm glad we made the playoffs. Uh, didn't then that I like the thing as much as I like it, uh, as I thought I was going to like it, but you know, it is what it is, right? Anyway, let's take a look at what we're bringing and what we're bringing in this week. Alright, so first off, we have uh, our Nyko Drag Pole. Uh, holding a spell tag uh, with Terra Ghost. Um, with this interesting set, which being the, the, the Protect Disable set with the Draco Meteor and Hex, uh, the main reason why we're running this set is because, uh, again, he only, had, my opponent has a normal type, uh, and Chimpan is just not the bulk uh, You'll see a little bit more sense, I guess. It will make a little more sense when you see the rest of the thing, but other than that, uh, you know. It just hits things hard, and um, I just, I just, oh, hey, no, no. Ultimately, I just had to play this thing smart. Um, so yeah, that's Dragon Ball. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess Protect Disable is for the Soccer Punch Man games, uh, because of course, right? Uh, especially if we determine that thing is a uh, choice bandit, but. Uh, I'm almost certain that it's going to be some sort of boots set, uh, but you know, if it's not, then we'll, we'll see what happens. Next up, we have Selena Kyle, Army of Scarada, um, Protein Ability. This thing is going to be 100% our lead, no matter what, given that I'm bringing a Glimora, or I have a Glimora on my team, my opponent is uh, more than likely always leading the uh, Garchomp. Uh, but if he doesn't, then, um, you know, we can proceed accordingly. Uh, if he doesn't lead Garchomp, I click Spikes turn one, except maybe on the Corviknight, but I don't think he will wanna risk leaving Corviknight into my um, possible, um, what you call it, um, Rotom Heat. So um, yeah, we're, try we're gonna try to Spike stack him uh, because he doesn't, I don't know if he will bring his uh, Hazard Removal in um, um, Serena, and uh, Corbin, I can defog, that's true, uh, but number one, it removes uh, uh, hazards on my side if he tries to stack me with Garchomp, and also um, um, it kind of gives me a free switch into Rodon Hit, so he has to be careful about being, you know, just going for it, but he defog whenever he's in front of this. So, yeah, the main objective of this set is going to be to probably has a stack spike him. Um, play rough is for the Garchomp 100%. Uh, if he leads with Garchomp, we click. Pre player of the first turn. I don't know if he will predict that, but if he does, then great. Um, knock off just to be annoying or move items and taunt to prevent uh, Corbin Knight from, you know, coming in and defogging. If he leads with something like Slitherwing, for example, uh, we could set up a set of spikes as he probably U-turn, and then we can just taunt the guard chump, uh, sorry, the Corbin Knight, preventing it from defogging, forcing it to kill us, and either defogging or setting a second layer of spikes. But given that he has a Corbin Knight, uh, it's very likely that he will be able to defog at least, you know, uh, a layer of spikes that Mio Scratch sets, or uh, that he, um, or that I'm not able to click it. He, he just outplays me and just get his stats better than me, I guess, and, you know, 
it is what it is. So we are bringing um, a spikes also into Neytiri, our uh, Shining Glimora. Uh, holding Black Sludge, uh, kind of having last minute regrets in this. I, I should have just probably put a Rocky Helmet on this, but it is what it is. Multiple spin just to remove uh, items, uh, just to, I guess, remove hazards in case he brings a Rapid Spinner. Uh, and doesn't want to remove items, or he doesn't want to remove items himself, plus it gives me, you know, it always uh, allows me to remove a poison stuff on his team, which he doesn't want on his walls, on his pivots for the most part. Uh, power Gen just for stuff coverage, he hits stuff relatively decently hard, uh, and Toxic to, again, Toxic stuff on his team, like his walls, uh, particularly with Dragapult with Hex in Protect Disable, is, uh, it should be a very interesting, um, a very interesting, um, interaction i think uh originally i was gonna be um corrosion to toxic the uh the carbonite but i have other options to status that thing i don't need to necessarily toxic i just want to get it status uh so yeah like i said i think i have options for that at the same time um i want to punish his pivoting with u-turns and uh, or you know like i said realistically i don't have a switch on champ out so if he brings in a champ out in front of this you know, by U-turning with a Corvina, for example, or something like that, then, you know, number one, I set up a layer spikes, uh, which hopefully is my second or third layer, and at the same time, he uh, he will have to deal with having to take uh, the toxic spikes. Um, I believe they activate first. So, you know, if he's not boots, then, you know, it's a good thing for us, I guess. Uh, four Pokemon is going to be a Billigan, uh, Shiny Scissors. Um, just holding Poison Club. I was gonna bring a different set, but you know, to be honest with you, like I said, Terra, the Art Champau is choice man, it's just a monster. Uh, so there's no point in playing around it. Uh, so we cannot check it defensively, so we're gonna have to try to check it offensively. Uh, if he goes electric, then you know, Bullet Punch is not that great. But at the same time, U turn and uh, close combat will hit it hard anyway. Um, again, I don't see the benefit of being electric, but you know, he could be, so we'll see. Um, just max attack and almost max speed with a little bit of speed just for creeping. Uh, he does have some good pivots, but none of those pivots likes to... Well, for the most part, they all let me set up Source Dance. And, uh, you know, with Hazards, switching stuff into Source Dances from this thing. A Source Dance boosted uh, moves from this is uh, it's terrifying for my opponent. Uh, Garchon could be defensive, Rocky Helmet, and... Um, uh, Rocky Helmet and... Um, Drop skin, uh, and that's why we're bringing the punching glove. Uh, we we'll only click close combat if I have to. For the most part, we're just clicking U turn on bullet punch. But I have to close combat to be able to hit Corbinite or um, the Dundon Spurs if he thinks that he can, you know, just uh, calm mine on me or something like that. Something cheeky like that. So, yeah, that's his Uh Four, we're bringing Herbert. Uh, I went. I, I was. I didn't know about this, but at the end of the day, he is one of my best defensive walls. Uh, and even though he does get, he loses to a Chimpao, uh Cold Blueberry will allow me to take one hit with max defense investment. Uh, future side, just to play, you know, those type of games. Um, future Focus Blast is 100% for the Chimpao. Um Hopefully, you know, an ideal world would you just Focus Blast, and as he comes to take a future side. But I don't think my opponent will fall for that. But if he does, it's great for us, right? Um, Thunder Wave is to another way to status his team. Um, not as good as Toxic, I guess, but it's still good, especially for Corbinite. Corbinite is basically up free switching to this thing, and they just U turns for the most part. So, yeah, we're bringing Thunder Wave to Thunder Wave. Eh? And once it's status, Dragapult has a lot, a lot of an easier time just spamming Hex. Uh, that's why we don't bring fire coverage, I guess. Uh, Chiller Reception, just for pivoting reasons. Uh, because, you know, I feel like it's going to be a, a game of pivoting and positioning. So I need to have it. I, I understand the Chen Pao will get a defense boost from it. But at the end of the day, you know, I think he's going to want to tear at that thing as soon as possible. Uh, but if he doesn't, then he doesn't, I guess. But plus, you know, if we catch that Chen Pao on the switch with a Thunder Wave, that would be the dream. That would just be fantastic. But, you know, it is what it is. And last Pokemon of the team is going to be Dexter, our, port uh, our Rotten Heat, uh, China Rotten Heat, holding the leftovers. Uh, interesting set. We're just bringing a pivoting set with Ball Switch, but at the same time, we are bringing Overheat because it just hits hard. Um, and especially with Nasty Plot, um, it just it just destroys a lot of things on his team. Like Max HP, don't, the Don't Spare, we know, especially Investment almost dies to an Overheat. So, yeah, even the Garchomp doesn't enjoy taking a plus two Overheat. Uh, because I don't anticipate having um, 
I don't anticipate it be holding um, um, leftovers for recovery. Uh, so that's just help that he won't be able to recover. Uh, but in the case that we are able to catch the Garchomp with something, uh, like on a switch on Glimora and we Toxic it, uh, or rapid Poison Spin, I guess, more than Spin it, uh, Hex is here to do double damage. Again, Nasty Blood is in case my opponent wants to do some cheeky things like trying to set up Cloud Mines with Dawn Spurs. We're always going to outpace it. We should always be able to out outpace it and overheat it. Uh, hopefully kill it. Uh, but yeah, the fact that we have both switch probably kind of hides the fact that we have also nasty flood so that's the dream right um also will he gives us free nasty plots in front of something like a sylveon that is trying to set up uh, wishes to pass them off uh normally we're uh, we're 100 gonna be faster than it so you know if he says wish uh we set up a nasty plot and we can either choose to overheat or do something different i guess um or if we got Toxic Spice in, in the field, um, you know, switching guard jump into a plus two um, hacks wouldn't be nice for him. Um, so he will lose it. And, you know, if he loses some of his pieces, then we might be able to be in a position to win. But anyway, like I said, this is a rough matchup for me, at least in my opinion. But, you know, we'll do the best we can to try to win. And uh, that's, all, that's all we can do, right? Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the game. Bye. And welcome back to the game, everybody. Okay, my man brought exactly the team that I thought he was gonna bring. Uh, there's always a chance that he could skip a slitter win, uh, and if he does, he does. But like I say, on the team builder, I'm always leaving Selena Kyle and going from there. Right? I don't think he wants to risk his slitter win, at least his 100% scarf. Which it could be, it's just he it doesn't have the best options to hit Dragon Ball, I guess, but yeah, who knows. Uh, the Dun part is cute. Um, I can get rid of that and chip the uh, and chip the chimp out. Um, Dragapult could go wild, but uh, other than that, hopefully it's a good game. He didn't bring Sylveon, uh, which was an option over bringing, I guess, the Slowbro. Um, doesn't get teleport, which is good for me. Um, but yeah. Unless it's Scar Garchomp, I'm probably gonna predict him to either leave Garchomp or Corviknight. Uh, but there will be no point in him leading uh, Scar Garchomp. Hmm, then again, maybe. Good luck, fun to odds, man. Like I said, I'm a little bit I've been a little bit down this week on energy. Uh, but yeah, Kirby. That's annoying. Um. I could force him to go into. I'm gonna force him to go into either Garchomp or. Um, um, Corbinai. So he's not on the he's 100% gonna U turn or first, first impression. There's a U turn, a shield set me up, a nice layer of toxic spikes. Uh, this must. This could be Scarf. Uh, maybe I should have caught it uh, and see if I could have killed it. Let's see. Um, Slither win. Player of will have killed it. So, I guess we'll find out. Uh, actually, I need to see my Glamora. Glamora. Plus set. Uh, alright, so I don't think he's banded, not based on the damage that he did, or he could be banded, yeah, I don't think he's banded, yeah, it's probably just a choice card, right? Uh, maybe, I don't know, it's, ah, okay. All right, we'll get a Toxic, which is great. Um, never mind. It's not as great. So I went to 54. 154, 192, 154. So he did about 20. Yeah, it's very much in range of being Choice Scarf. Um, I'm not going to play around. I'm just going to go Selena here.
Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're not we're not messing with this. We're play, we're clicking player off a hundred percent. Yeah, oh, oh, oh heck no, man. He definitely expected me to go. Um, he definitely expected me to go rotten. Um, if I hit it here, though, that would be great. Um, all right, pretty close to killing. He's probably just gonna Dragon Claw, right? It would be lovely if he Dragon Claws. Yes! Let's go! Okay! Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Ah, uh, Selena. Uh, Mios Karada. Custom set. Play rough. Shh, versus his guard jump. Oh my god, I thought I missed, man, to be honest. Uh, okay. Um, I think a knockoff will kill it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to hope and pray that it does. Yeah, he's just gonna switch. Great. Uh, probably get the Rocky Helmet on the Corby Knight, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what your item is. Uh, we're just gonna remove... Oh, crit hit. I'm so sorry. Rocky Helmet's gone. Okay, great. I'm a fairy type now. Which means I resist your. Uh, I could set up a spike, uh, but he could U turn. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a spike. Uh, because if he U turns, then that's fine. Then he has to take all that damage, right? If he defogs, then that's good for him too. He's just gonna defog. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind much about this. Yeah, toxic spikes are gone, which is unfortunate. Uh, but still, I'm, I'm gonna set up a spike again. He could play rough, he could U turn, he could body press if he has it. I'm like, I don't care, I'm just gonna set up spikes, man. Yeah. What is he gonna do? He's gonna Brave Bear. Uh, maybe we take it? We do! Let's go! Okay. Uh, I'm a taunt you so you don't defog. Not default for you, sir. Not default for you. Uh, he could U-turn. Uh, or he could try to U-turn. Uh, but then he has to take a bunch of damage, right? Um, he could try to bury her here. Um, I think a spike will be nice. Uh, Nah, I'm gonna just spike. Yeah, you you can kill my meal scrap. Now he's playing with two turns of his spikes. Which is great for me in the end. He doesn't kill me, <laughs> that's unfortunate for him. Oh, gracias. Alright, so he probably just got slither win here, right? Bros bear, that's jump up. This thing. Okay. Cool. Um, so I can knock you off. What else could you do? I mean, you're just gonna body press, right? Yeah, I'm gonna just knock you out. Yeah, I know. Come and come, come to. He goes into the raid. Yeah, that's fine. That's more damage he has to take. Pressure. Selena putting on the finest of work. I'm gonna just stun. He's gonna U turn. But that's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Yep. That's fine. Selena, you did a great job. Hey, Poppy. Yeah, th this is fine. Uh, I don't know if the Garchomp has enough health to come in. To come back in. So, I guess we're about to find out, right? 
I just gotta make sure that the Corviknight can now defog anymore. He didn't bring a spinner, which is good. Sordans, Garchom, and that could have been horrible. And I, I wasn't bringing player of Mascara originally, so I'm so glad I did. Hey, Poppy. Kirby, back into this thing. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, if you are Choice Scarf, I don't believe you kill my Rotten. Rotten Heat. Because uh, it's set versus the Slitter Wing. Uh, choice Scarf. Uh, yeah. Uh, level 50. Yeah, I should be able to take even a close combat from an Adamant. So we're gonna go into Rotten. He could close combat. Uh, how much do we care about that? Uh, I want to see something real quick. Any rock type moves? You don't seem to get any rock type moves. Um. Yeah, let's just overheat. Let's see if your choice card. If it's not a choice card, then I'll spit it. And hopefully kill it. He is choice card. We take the hit. Defenses go down. That's fine. Alright, the overheat should take care of this. Let's go! Okay. One less problem. One less problem. He can't go Corvinai on this. Okay. 100% jump out here. Or, or win. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we know that he's this now. Um, so yeah, I don't know what moves you are. Glimora at this point has served its purpose. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and set up some toxic spikes for me. Yeah, there's a Terra Dark. That is super scary. Yep. Just crunch. Yep. One hit. That was one hit. Whew. Okay. Alright, let me do some Kalk. Glimora. Limora, uh, well, I can't go Dragon Ball right now, right? I mean, let me do some cocks to try to see if I can determine what item are you, but you're definitely Choice Bandit. Uh, Chimp out. Choice Band. Um, without the Choice Band. Crunch. Should it hand kill me? Alright, uh... So he is choice man. He has to be choice man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now he could go rotten here. I could just Draco. Uh, Is my sister gonna die to a choice bandit? Sisters. 
Caesar Augustine said. Um, unless it's choice bandit, I don't die. But if it's choice bandit, I die 100%. Uh, all right, let's go to Rotten. Find out where you are. Yeah, he does switch. Let's go! Let's freaking go! Please tell me you die. Let's go! He dies! Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Bullet punch is not killing it. Ah, uh, it's looking. Not from that range at least. Ooh, he took uh, he took he took the poison too, right? Slow King Custom said Um I take one crunch, which is great. Um Hmm. He's taking the damage I need I need him to be taking. Yeah, there's no reason why you're not gonna just, uh... Yeah. Alright. Take a little bit more damage. Um, if I go to you and he kills me... I should be able to beat Corbinite with this. Uh, it's not the best, though. All right, we're gonna go into you. Uh, he's slowly getting into the range that I think I can kill it. So... He still has the Dodon Spur, the Corviknight, the Slow Bro. Yeah. I'm a Chili Resection. If he attacks, then he doesn't kill me and I and I go uh, Dragapult and try to do something, hopefully. Yeah, he switches. That's good. That's really good. D right. Okay. So he basically is just letting me uh, source them for free here. Unless he attacks. He could Roos. You see Roos, that's good for him. Uh, I shouldn't be killing you with a close combat from here. Custom set versus Corviknight. If I assume that you're physically, completely physically defensive, close combat 25 to 30. Yeah, you're not in range. Let's, let's go ahead and source this. I am faster than him. It's good to know. He's either gonna... Okay, he the fox. That's fine. Mm. How much is this soccer punch doing from here? Pao. Soccer punch. Yeah, he will kill me at minus one. He could go slow, bro. And if he does go slow, bro, that's a shame. If a source dance here he eats me. I cannot risk it, I'm just gonna close combat. Alright. 
We kill it. That's good. Here goes Champao. I have to, uh, yeah. I have to stall. So we're gonna go into Herbert. And hopefully he's gonna soccer punch. He should be soccer punching. Okay. We're stalling the turns, that's still fine. Okay, what could he go into here? Could go into a number of things. Uh, my best play is to... Either Thunderwear or Cheater Reception. Um, I'm going to... Chile Reception. Alright. If I just bullet punch there, I will have won this game. Which is a dang shame to say, but uh, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh-huh. Alright. But you should be 100% in range. Chiampao. Bullet punch. I don't care why you are, you are 100% into range. So we're gonna bullet punch. And we draw it. Makes sense. It's kinda going to... Owen. Alright. That's a, a, that's a decent chunk, I guess. Um, this thing does get flamethrower, right? Alright, uh, scissors versus Dodon Spars. Uh, close combat, 75 to 92. Bullish from 28. Hmm. He may be able to leave it. Uh, if I U turn. Which you probably should do. My close combat. Fire moves, I lose. If you fire moves, I lose. That is fine. That is fine. bullet punch I could you turn I'm gonna bullet punch please kill it let's go Okay. So this is gonna be an interesting endgame. For sure. For sure. That champ is dying too, Dragapult, right? The poison. He went to this? Um, I guess. It's faster than me, that's fine. Mm. 
go figures now. Okay. I know how strong this Lobro is. But I only have one play. I had to tear on Hex. Um, yeah, I don't know how strong a Slowbro is. I'm never killing this. Not even the spell tag, right? Maybe with the spell tag. Nice play. Nice play, man. If he thunder waves, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Can I take this? Alright, I take it. Alright. Um, I know he doesn't take it without it, though. Okay. So if that champ out has soccer punch, this is the time to show it. What an end game, man. 100% have to click protect here. Weekly protect. <laughs> go for soccer punch. Oh, he can go just for ice shard. He went for soccer punch. Let's go. Okay. Um. Let's see if this works. If he has I shard, he, ha he should have gone for the I shard. Yep. That's game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we just want text to Glimor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What a freaking game, man. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, we barely got a baby. Jesus Christ, this Pokemon is, is horrifying. Struggle. Into the protect. That's GG's, man. That's GG's. Great game, man. Great game. Oh, my God. That Chimpa was so freaking scary. Thank God the other two with Chimpa was gone. Virginia Victorinus move on to quarterfinals. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait, is it quarterfinals? It should be quarterfinals, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. That was a hell of a ride. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye now.